Welcome to REI TV. Here's the question today. How much money do you actually need to save for retirement? Well, frankly, it depends. If you're talking about traditional means, the stock market versus real estate, there's a huge discrepancy in the numbers. So let's address society's traditional approach to retirement first. And just to ask this question, how much do you actually need to save for retirement? Well, the answer to that question is also partially going to be a function of how much cash flow you want. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do something to take that lump sum of money and try to live off of the interest without depleting the principal or the, or the lump sum amount which you've actually saved. So when it comes to retirement planning, your financial planner is usually going to reference in the annuity world what we call a 4% rule. And the idea is when you want to retire, take all the money you've saved and put it in something called an annuity which will be diversified throughout the stock market and they're going to try to pay you annually somewhere around 4%. So for example, if you gave them a million dollars, then the interest each year would be about $40,000, maybe around $3,000 a month. So let's say that we're actually gonna rely on this 4% annuitized rule. Well, let's say that you wanted to have a very basic retirement of $60,000 a year, $5,000 a month. I'm not talking about social security. How much money would you have to accumulate to have it you know, every year pay out a 4% dividend that would give you at least $5,000 a month, $60,000 a year. Well, this is kind of surprising. You would need $1.5 million. Now just think about that for a minute. Do you, do you know somebody that in their career at the rate that they save has a plan where they could actually realistically put $1.5 million away? I mean, we're talking about, that's the one percenters in America. That's not the masses. That's not the 99%. Here's the bottom line. Savings alone can't get us there. So if you're contributing to a 401k, an IRA, trying to pay off your house, fast forward, do the math. Are you going to arrive? Are you going to have enough based off of the information I just shared with you? And if the answer is no, then it means that that system for your situation is broken, which means that you need to look for a different system, not getting a second or a third job. So there is a legitimate shortcut that, by the way, the wealthy use all the time so that they can overcome this hurdle. And that answer is real estate. Because if you correctly treasure hunt the right kind of real estate deal, if you've got a philosophy, strategy, and system that I'm always talking about, then you can advance yourself a decade with each deal. What do I mean by that? Well, look at the first house that I bought. I bought that house for $110,000 and it was at that time worth $150,000. There was a $40,000 discrepancy. That was more than double what I made in an entire year at my job. So all of a sudden, just by walking in and closing on that house, my net worth did what? Well, it went up $40,000 a year. That also translated into cash flow for me later when I moved out of it. I had a $550 a month cash flow on it after taking out a line of credit on the house to buy my next property that would pay me another $500 cash flow, but that house had more than $50,000 of equity. So between those two houses, what is that? Well, I bought this one with 40, I bought that one with 50. That's $90,000 of equity. Let me ask you, how long would it take for you to save $90,000? And then have a cash flow between the two of over $1,000 a month. Wow, that's amazing. That's something annuities, the stock market cannot do for you. And that's just another reason why I love real estate. So at the end of the day, my friends, it has nothing to do with how much money you save. Stop living in fear. Stop living in scarcity. It's not how much you save. It's how many homes you need to buy to get to retirement. And with a careful plan, it's strategizing and buying a few homes the right way that can catapult you to a retirement in the next five or 10 years. Thank you so much for watching. This is Chris Crone signing off. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, knowledge is power. And then when you take that knowledge and you apply it, it's even more powerful. So go rock it in real estate.